on this DJI Flip, is this an LiDAR sensor or is it an obstacle avoidance sensor? In this video, we are going to figure it out. So first of all, I'm going to fly this drone away and then press the auto return to home and let's see how this drone is going to come back. If it comes back using the same path where we send it to, then it's a LiDAR. But, but if it just comes back right above me because I am in the cover right now in the trees. So if it comes back using the same path and comes to me straight, then it's a LiDAR. But if it just comes back above me to the trees and try to land in the trees, then obviously it's not a LiDAR system. There is an obstacle avoidance sensor and we will test that one as well and see how accurate it is, how nicely it can perform. Is it a proper obstacle avoidance sensor like the Mini 3 Pro or Mini 4 Pro or whatever it is, we will just test it in this video. All right, let's get started. All right, so here I'm gonna fly 30, 40, 50, 30, 40 meters away and let's see when I'm going to press the auto return to home is it going to choose the same path using the LiDAR system or is it just going to come back straight uh, here it looks like it's just coming back straight it's not following the path and going down uh, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit so here the, the drone is just stopped there by the leaves and it's not obviously it was just coming straight on the same altitude it was not coming down it just stopped there i will have to bring it down myself now i'm gonna give it one more try let's send it again and this time i'll increase the altitude as well and let's see uh, when i'm gonna press the auto return to home how is this, this drone is going to react All right, let's go for the second round. This time, I will increase the altitude as well. Then I'm going to press the auto return to home. All right, let's press the auto return to home now. There it goes, but it's still the same thing. It's just going straight, it's not coming down, so definitely, definitely, there's no LiDAR there. It's just coming over the trees, and it looks like it's just going to land on the trees now. Oh, definitely, this is not the LiDAR. The drone is just trying to land in the trees. <laughs> onto the trees it's not come it's not following the same path for sure it's just trying to land in the trees so i'm just going to adjust it and bring it back definitely it's not the lidar obviously it's something something uh, related to the obstacle avoidance i'm also going to put that into the test now it's just me who is doing all the effort to adjust it to bring it back but otherwise the tone was just going to land in on the tree Hey, you can see I am right now, I have the trees in front of me. So I'm just going to fly this drone into these trees and let's see. And let's see how this drone is going to perform too. Is it going, just going to stop or bypass as well? Hey, you can see in the settings, this drone does not have uh, the bypass option. You can only put it to the off or you can put it to the brake. So obviously when it's going to see the obstacle, it's just going to stop, not bypass and keep moving. Let's test it out. How accurate is it? All right, let's, let's fly it. Let's see how this drone is going to avoid these obstacles. Here it's just detecting the tree and the leaves. It just stopped. I'm even pushing the sticks but it's not moving anymore. It's just holding the position and not moving any further. Here you can see that red line there. That shows it's detecting the obstacle and it's not moving at all. But I'll just keep the stick pushing.
and there I'm just trying to push it the drone is just trying and there it goes started to move it initially it was just stuck there it was not moving at all so this drone the moment it sees any obstacle it does not move at all it just stops here you can see it was detecting the obstacle on the left side now I'm just going to face it straight to the tree and let's see Yeah, it's just facing this tree straight and it's not moving any further. It's just shaking a bit because of the wind also. It is windy, but it's not going any further. So this is an infrared sensor there. It acts as an obstacle avoidance, but it only stops. It does not bypass. Like the other drones, we do have the option to bypass as well. But on this one, we only have the option to stop and break let's move it between these trees actually I will try to push it in the speed as well and let's see if this drone can go through those uh, green leaves if it can just hit them and pass, pass from there alright let's push it in the speed and let's see if it can pass through those leaves still detecting the uh, still detecting those leaves as obstacles it's not moving I'm trying to push the sticks but it's not moving I'll try again let's push it that side in the speed and let's see if it's going to hit and move so I'm much closer to those leaves but if I definitely I'm sure if I'm coming from a distance then this stone is not going to stop it's just going to hit them and keep moving uh, you can see what it did here now it detected them but it still kept moving so if the drone is coming in the speed then it's not going to stop at all it will just hit and keep moving because the drone will not have enough time to stop this sensor it cannot detect the obstacles from the distance is only when it's very very close I will also try to push the drone towards myself and let's see how it will react is it going to stop or is it just going to hit me Alright, now I'm going to push the drone towards me and let's see if it's going to hit me or stop. There it is stopping. Let's change the angle to the other side and bring it with speed. Here the drone was not facing me properly. Let's do it again. Alright. Yeah, it is stopping properly because uh, <laughs> when I am standing in front of it it's not a leaf so it sees a solid object so it is stopping so here you can see the obstacle avoidance it does work on this drone but only it's only it can only break and also one thing I realized when we are moving this drone very fast is not going to avoid uh, it's not going to stop maybe the chances are it's not going to stop it's just going to hit the object so if you are flying this drone slowly it's just going to stop but uh, minor speed when I was flying but when I was flying this drone towards me as well you can see it was stopping properly and even when I fly when I was flying it towards the tree or the leaves as well the drone was stopping properly so optical avoidance it does work now this is a kind of infrared sensor here it's not a proper 
uh, sensor like the Mini 3 Pro or Mini 4 Pro but it does work. So now you know what is this sensor for, it's not a LiDAR, it's an obstacle avoidance sensor and it also has the quick shot modes indications here, all those quick shot modes which you access from this button, it indicates here what mode you are using. So I hope you like the video, if you do like the video please subscribe my channel, I'll see you in the next one, ciao ciao.